Someone wrote in and said, how do I go about regaining self-ownership of my body and sexual aspects after a trauma? I'm a 46-year-old divorced gay man who's had an incest and military sexual assaults um, in the past. I've never been able to have an erection and masturbate to orgasm. My ex-wife would physically attract me for uh, masturbating and tell my family whenever she did it. Um, very religious family. Um, if you have any ideas and resources um, that they could check, that he could check out, he'd really appreciate them. Um, thanks for writing, and this is Reed Mahako from ReadAboutSex.com. Got the right to leave from IntimacyDojo.com. What you got? Um, one, just asking is wonderful. I really am glad you're trying to recover that. Um, knowing that you can is really powerful. Just knowing that there is, there are ways out there. Um, I'm a big fan of emotional freedom techniques, EFT, where you tap on acupressure points um, that can help rewire how your primitive brain associates the experiences you have with sexuality. Um, and if you go to thrivingnow.com forward slash tapping, there's a whole bunch of resources on how you could do that. With traumas these big, this big, I really recommend finding a therapist or a coach to guide you and help you through some of this process. Yeah. Um... I feel like I'm out of my depth here. Like I want, this is such a wonderful question. Um, and I want to have just a list of resources, which I do not have handy. Uh, where I would start is if you can afford it, you know, get a professional listener mm -hmm. who has, um, who works with folks who have trauma, um, or trauma survivors and, you know, start slow and take baby steps. Mm -hmm. Um, this is not the kind of thing that you like, you know, push through and tough it out through it's about you know getting to know yourself in in really deep poignant ways mm -hmm. um what is great is in this time and you know this day and age we have things like you know trauma-informed yoga is a thing now um depending maybe, on where you are in the country yeah it's it's turning into a, a bigger thing so hopefully there's places around you where you can, you know, find people who have experience um, and training in, in holding space for people who are trying to work on these things um, or have these life histories where um, it's not, there's just a different kind of listening and approach that's happening. And same thing with therapists, because you can, you can find a great therapist who doesn't have any experience in working with, with survivors. Um, and then they, you know, they're not going to help you at all. They're going to, you know, they're going to be useless. Um, so being really mindful and trying to get as much agency as you can, and and agency and empowerment, and you know, EFT can be really great. You know, you might have to find and try on a couple of different modalities to find one that really, really works for you. Mm -hmm. um, there's also the, the Body Electric School, um, which was founded by men who love men. Um, and that has a lot to do about reclaiming your, your sensual agency, um, and feeling safe, uh, with male to male touch, um, in a really loving and healing environment. So you might want to check out the, the body electric school it was, uh, co-founded by Joseph Kramer. And there's a lot of different things out there and I don't want to like overwhelm you with so many options, but working and looking for people who have experience and are informed around trauma and working with trauma, that's going to probably be super beneficial and, and super helpful. And it's okay to, to try somebody on and be like, wow, like, you know, thank you for being informed about trauma, but you're not the right fit for me. Mm -hmm. um, so again, just because somebody has some sort of training or specialty doesn't mean that they're going to be the right person or the right modality for you too. You're not broken if you have to, you know, look around until you find the right fit for you. Any of Peter Levine's books are really helpful about somatic uh, reconnection. Um, so that's something you might want to look into. And there are books, if you just go to Amazon and search for trauma and sexuality or sexual sexuality after trauma, there's a, there's a number of really good books out there that can help. Um, I've gone through a lot of that work because of, I have a, a, past, a history of uh, abuse when I was a child. And one of the things, like just the basics, a lot of them teach is just about touching yourself and not having an objective of orgasming or getting really turned on. Just exploring your body and rediscovering it and figuring out what your body likes in actual physical terms as opposed to what you were taught that you had to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And again, baby steps. The slower you go, often the faster you get there. Yeah. We hope this helps. Thank you so much for writing in. 
If anyone else has good resources, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t-shirt, please click right here, right now. Boop. N no, no, really, like...